Hey friends, it's time for another five under five. This time it's fall tier tray decor. Hosts, Missy from the Crafty Cove, Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and guest host, Brenda from Rustic and Lace. I'm spraying two of these mini cups I found at Dollar Tree with some white spray paint I already had. They were moving around a bit, so um, I put some glass marbles on top to keep them steady and finish covering them with the white paint. Once they were totally dry, brought them back inside and I traced out on some thick bulk pack cardboard the top lid so that I would have something for my foam whip to stay on. After cutting my top pieces out, I painted them with white matte apple barrel paint. And using oven baked clay that I already had, I purchased this a while back at Michael's. I rolled out coils so that I could form them into faux whipped cream. Once I got a pretty good length, I started to wrap the coils up around the piece of the cardboard and this was a mistake i should have started in the center but i started from the outside in and my coil got out of control and as you will see i ended up with a really huge <laughs> whipped cream topper after rolling out a second coil i added a bit more to the first bit that i had made and this was like really getting really huge but i wasn't finished i needed one more chunk so i rolled out a little bit more and got that wrapped around the first two um, bits that i had made and then i picked it up and i looked at this huge monstrosity that i had made So I placed it on top to see how it would fit and then when I turned it to the side I was like whoa that's really huge so I had to knock it down a bit and separate my coils and rein it in and make it a bit smaller so I just deconstructed the whole thing and pulled some of the coils apart. I took out the whole secondary piece that I had made and I reworked the bottom layer and kind of smushed it in and made it a bit narrower. And then I took the very top piece off and put that on and kind of smushed everything in and that looked really good and then I made a second one for my second cup. I stuck them in the oven 15 minutes. 275. I glued my cardboard pieces down to my cups. My whip topping all cooled off from the oven. I painted them with the white matte apple barrel paint. And for my cups, I use cotton twine just to trim out the area around where the cardboard is. And this napkin from Dunkin' Donuts, I'm using the Dunkin' logo from that to apply to my cup. So after I had it snipped, I just did a dry fit and it seemed to be just like the perfect fit for this mini cup. And then taking a photocopy of a Starbucks gift card that someone gave me, I just trimmed it down so that it would fit the cup better. I'm using matte Mob Hodge to apply to my cup and I spread it around pretty uh, as much as evenly as I can get it and then apply my piece of napkin with my logo and just wipe the um, matte Mob Hodge all over that to really get it stuck down to the cup and to seal the top. 
And then I applied just a bit more of that matte Mod Podge to make sure that the sides were totally sealed down and I had a really nice overlay over the top. And then I applied some to the back of my Starbucks logo so that I could have a really good seal on this onto the cup. And I was worried about the green smearing and it did just a little bit. So I tried to just really hit the sides and the top and bottom and not go over the green portion too much, but just enough that I would have a really nice top seal over it. And with my cups drying, I took a brown paint marker and started to add little brown flecks on my toppers so that it would look like cinnamon had been sprinkled over the top. Then I used a bit of brown tempera just to go around the edge of my cup so that it looked like there was latte in there. And then these little mini pumpkins that smell like cinnamon and pumpkin spice, I wanted to add those to my toppers as just a little cute embellishment. So I just hot glued those on the top of both pieces love the way this project is coming along i have to say that i do favor dunkin donuts more than i do starbucks my favorite is a frozen dunkin french vanilla with whipped cream let me know what is your favorite drink whether it's from dunkin donuts or starbucks then i applied hot glue to the bottom of both toppers and attached them both to their cups and that finished this project off Oh my goodness, these are so stinking cute. I love these. I will have to make these for everybody in my family. We are a Java loving family and definitely I'll have to make some for Christmas. And here's an example of some beautiful crafts that Emily, Missy, and Brenda have recently made. I'll have links to their channels along with the playlist in the description box. You'll find lots of beautiful crafting inspiration on all three of their channels. For my second project, I'm starting with this 4th of July garden steak and I removed the steak uh, eventually after I pull the little tabs and give it a few wiggles and it pops off. I'm going to give this guy um, a new paint job and cover up his stars on his hat and I'm covering him. I'm going to use um, a little Kelly green and bright white from Apple Barrel, just mix them together to make this like minty green color. I found these beautiful pumpkins at Target and they were just the most gorgeous like mint chocolate chip green. So that's what I wanna mimic and put on this gnome's hat. And the stripes on his pants, I make those the minty green as well. Then I use a ballet slipper from Waverly to cover the red of his shirt. And some of that white apple barrel again to cover his banner. I'm going to make it reverse and make it a light banner with dark letters. And using a stencil that I already had, I'm applying the more of the ballet slipper to the hat. I really like this pattern. brighter colors this fall and I really wanted to incorporate both into this gnome and I thought these two together on his hat would just be so adorable. I went back over in a few more spots that I missed just to touch up and I'm happy with his hat and he just looks so cute.
and using stickers from the Dollar Tree I already had. I just apply um, the letters to spell out autumn. And using this scrap of scrapbooking paper, I'm cutting out the smaller pumpkin that has words printed that looks like newspaper, and that will cover the final part of his banner. I used a pink paint marker to outline his banner and his shirt. And using one more scrap of scrapbooking paper, I apply this little pink flower to his hat just so he has a little bit more coordination and is very sharp. Then I stand him up to see how I want to set the tower blocks to be glued on behind him. I like the way that looked. Then I applied just a little of acrylic black paint to these tower blocks to cover them. And then once they dried, I just hot glued them on. I love this green. It looks so cute with that pink. For my third project, I'm using this Hello Fall wooden wagon and I'm using hot glue just to go over the lines of the pumpkins so that they're really defined and stand out. I went around the inner portion and the spokes of the wheels as well. And then I took some bright red apple barrel paint and started to color in the wagon. I used a ward blue for my first pumpkin. I added the white apple barrel to the top and mixed it in just so there'd be a little variation in the color while the blue was still wet. Light mocha for the second pumpkin. Granite gray for the third. Then I took a pumpkin from a five pack that I found at Dollar Tree and sliced it in half. I want there to be some really um, standout 3D pumpkins on this wagon as well. And then I went ahead and grabbed a vase filler pumpkin as well. And then I use Cameo Pink for the smaller one and then white for the green one. Added some little dots to the gray pumpkin. One around the outside in white. Using a metallic marker in silver I already had, I colored in the handle to the wagon and then the spokes to the wheel. And I used brown on the wheels, the brown that came with the package, and then I added in brown, a brown paint marker, and then I took some green to color in some of the stems, but I didn't like that, so I ended up covering that over with some of the brown paint marker and a little bit of brown paint. I 
I used a white metallic marker I already had for the Hello Fall. And then some of the paper um, sunflowers I had previously purchased. I wanted more of a 3D effect. And then I hot glued down the pumpkin pieces that I'd painted. And the final thing was just adding some hot glue and tower block pieces so that this will stand up on the tear tray. I love that it's not just a flat piece of decor. Let me know what do you think of this wagon. I have this cool little truck that I found at the Family Dollar for a dollar. I like the color, this is very fun, but I need to cover up the flower market and these. So I think this back cover of the farmer's market calendar this one that says farm fresh pumpkins might work to cover over this area so i trimmed off the top portion but this was still a little too big so then i snipped off the farm fresh and then i applied that underneath pumpkins and that was just the right size to fit on the truck so then i just used a bit of elmer's glue stick to attach those two pieces together and some of the tacky glue and applied that to the truck Once I applied my sign, I did have other things that I wanted to apply to the side of the truck, like these tiny paper sunflowers. I thought they were just so adorable. Cut out these little pumpkins and just have them mixed in with the sunflowers. Once I got my pumpkins cut out, I just started arranging them the way I would want to have them attached. And when I was happy with the way it looked mixed in with the sunflowers, then I went ahead and I used a bit of hot glue to attach my sunflowers and the Elmer's glue just to attach my little paper pumpkins. If you're enjoying the content of my video, I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I upload weekly. Front of the truck all set. I wanted to add some things to the bed of the truck, like these little plastic pumpkins I found at Dollar Tree. They look like candy, but they kind of connect together. So I hot glued those and some little pieces of wheat. I wanted it to look like the person driving the truck had just come from the farmer's market and they were loaded down with all sorts of goodies. So I hot glued down my wheat pieces and I have my pumpkins I want to apply. More of those paper sunflowers will be added in. And then I have craft sticks that I'm going to paint to look like ears of corn and then add those into the back of the truck. And I'm using acrylic paint markers that I previously purchased um, from Amazon just to color them in to look like ears of corn. So once I have my faux ears of corn colored in, I just snipped them and hot glued them to the back of the pickup truck. So I just continued to layer on more items and I put a few of these sunflowers on the back as well next to the wheat pieces.
Then I added two more pieces of corn so it's really stacked up and I have a total of four to give it just a little bit more height next to that wheat. And then I glued down the rest of the acrylic pumpkins that I had. This turned out so cute. I love this color. It reminds me of the Pioneer Woman. And it looks like this truck is just loaded with all sorts of goodies. I love it. This next DIY is pretty easy. So I found this nice cement pumpkin at Dollar Tree and I really love the cement with just the white accent in between and the gold tip, but they only had this one type. So what I'm wanting to do is to paint over this metallic gold to make it look like cement. So I have two cement pumpkins. I'm mixing pewter gray and granite gray from Apple Barrel to achieve the cement look. Once I have them thoroughly mixed, I apply with a foam tip brush. So I'm just applying the paint in a pouncing method and I'm leaving the tip of it gold so it looks just like the one that I purchased. And once it dried, I took a wipe and applied some of the white matte paint into the creases and then I wiped it back off so I could achieve the same look of the other one. I love this cement gray look and the color looks really good with pink. And here's a look back at all the fall tear tray items I made today and all of them put together on the tear tray. I hope you enjoyed this video and please enjoy the entire playlist. There are a lot of talented creators.